Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Mile Store Podcast. Before we begin, we're going to do a quick uh, little advertisement for an event that's going on at Midsummer Scream. Three podcasts, two days. It's going to be fun. The first podcast contains Kim and Ket Stay Alive, maybe. They're going to be joining us for a podcast Saturday morning when the event opens. Uh, we're still trying to look for a location where we're going to do them, so stay tuned for that once we get more info. The second podcast is going to be right after the HHN panel. We're going to do it with our good friend Adam from Theme Park Pass. We're going to talk a little bit about the panel and what we saw, uh, what we're excited for and stuff like that. And then Sunday after the Not Scary Farm panel, we're going to do a, a podcast with Fracture Compass Productions. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about the event of what's going to be going down, what it's like for a scare actor's point of view and stuff like that. So be sure to um, come and join us for a live podcast. Uh, edition of the mindless horror podcast three of them so you have three chances and then sunday at seven o'clock at pulp fiction comics we're going to be going to support our friends kim and ket at the uh the comic book store they're going to be doing a live show of their podcast kim and ket stay alive maybe super excited for that so catch me and sammy there me sammy uh hopefully some other nights of horror people there uh if you guys see us come say hi we'll say hi or don't or don't yep or don't Anyway, back to the topic at hand. We are going to be talking today about the movie Crawl, um, the new Sam Raimi uh, movie that just opened up this past weekend. And uh, I have to say, I really enjoyed this one a little bit more than I thought I was going to. Oh, uh, I agree. I agree that it was uh, it was a very likable movie, predictable, but likable nonetheless. Likable nonetheless. Um, I I honestly am not really a big fan of like the cheesy kind of shark. Unless, you know, I mean, I love Jaws, but, like, the movies like The Meg didn't watch it, didn't want to watch it. And so I kind of looked at this movie like that, but when I saw the reviews of how good they were, it kind of motivated me to go see this movie more. Plus, I'm a big Sam Raimi fan, so that also motivated me to go. No, definitely. I agree, Sam Raimi. Original Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Evil Dead. Evil Dead. I didn't watch Evil Dead, but, you know. People like that movie, I guess. Oh, yeah. It's a classic. Yeah. Um, But, yeah, it's that whole Predator versus human theme is always like okay but i guess they they made this one i guess more likable with the sense of they kept it kind of they didn't make the predator super op yeah which i enjoyed because it was kind of realistic it actually gave them a more fighting chance yeah i gave them a fighting chance it was realistic yeah. in the sense that, yes, hurricanes happen. You're near a swamp. Flooding happens. You're with a predator. This so can happen. It, it had a lot of realistic points yeah. towards what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, we're going to break down the whole movie. Uh, spoilers, full-blown spoilers from now until the rest of the video. So I hope you guys have either seen the movie or uh, have enjoyed it. By now, it's been, as of this recording, when we released this, um, almost a week. So... Hope you've seen it already. If you haven't, though, uh, you know, turn this off. Go watch it. Come back and see what we have to say about it. But uh, or don't, no. or, or don't, <laughs> or don't. Just, just listen. Just, yeah, just listen. And then go watch it. There you go. Um, but nonetheless, let's let's talk about this movie. So we start off, of course, with uh, Haley, who is a swim like protege. She just loves. She's like a really good swimmer. Yep, so. at the University of Florida, go Gators. So they they throw that right off the bat that she's a good swimmer, and I think that's an important fact of this movie. Especially with all the stuff they go through. Yeah, yeah. The, you, you, she's a swimmer. I think you get the flashback with her dad pretty early in there, too. Pretty early on, just to see kind of more of who her dad was and stuff yeah. like that and how he was in yeah. her life. Um, but then uh, she, she was doing a competition, like a practice competition for like a real competition with her team. Yeah. And I guess she loses and she gets really mad about that. So uh, she goes off into the locker room. She starts getting dressed and her sister calls her. Uh, I believe her name was Beth. Yes, Beth. 
Beth, her call, Beth, her sister, calls uh, her and she, you know, tells Haley, "Hey, I, you know, I've been trying to get contact with Dad. This this hurricane's coming in. Um, you know, where are you at? I just got out of practice. Why are you guys having practice during a hurricane? Instead? Yeah, which yeah, that doesn't make that. Well, I guess they didn't really know though. Like they they even came out and said, but yeah, you, you're supposed to get you you know." Days ahead when a hurricane's coming, yeah. or else it makes some super sporadic turn. The way meteorology works, you know the hurricane's coming days before. You know it's charted its path. You know where it's going to gain its strength, and you can basically plot it all the way through. Yeah, they they pretty much have that stuff. Yeah, figured out. Down to a science. Yeah. So, so it's stupid that they were practicing, and even more stupid that they're like, "What a hurricane!" Yeah. Which I guess I guess we can both agree on this one. A lot of the things in this movie are kind of. It was very entertaining, but kind of just like. Yeah. Just why like, did you do that? Why, yeah. So we, we you know she goes and goes she goes and drives to her dad's house. Her dad's not there. And then she realizes that the dad's at the old house because they are in the process of selling the old house. The mom and the dad are divorced and stuff like that. So it's been kind of hard on the family. Um, so we go try to see the, 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 you know, the dad in, at his house and he's not there, but the dog sugar is there and, um, you know, she, she takes the dog with him and she goes to the old family house. Um, before that though, the freaking cop, what was his name? I got you. Don't worry. His name was Stan the man. The cop though, he's a cop that's like, you know, controlling traffic. Is it traffic. Stan or the, I don't know, maybe P, I don't know. Wayne. Dwayne. So Wayne uh, tells Haley, like, you can't go over there. We're not letting people over there and stuff like that. It's just too risky and stuff because of this hurricane. But she, you know, goes besides the cops and goes and does her own thing. She says, YOLO swag money. I got to go get poppy. So she goes down into the uh, to the to the house, you know, where she grew up at. She's looking for her dad, and, and the dog is barking like crazy and stuff like that. And finally we end up in the uh, the basement of the house. The crawl space. The crawl space. And the dad's down there working on some pipes because I guess there was like a bad leakage. He was trying to get the house uh, safe enough so when the hurricane hit, like hopefully it didn't get destroyed in his eyes. Yeah, because he's super tied to the house. Yeah, because it just gave him a lot of good memories and stuff. So we end up seeing the fact that the dad is actually in the house, but he's down in the crawl space knocked out from uh, from losing some blood from a bite. The bite. The bite of the uh, alligators. Um, we end up getting introduced to the alligators pretty early on when Haley tries to drag her dad out of the of the crawl space before the hurricane would hit them. Uh, she grabs a tarp and puts it under and starts dragging him out. But then she she ends up seeing one of the alligators, and that's when we start this whole journey of trying to get out of there and trying to avoid the hurricane. Yeah. So the, uh, my my comment is, you know, basically on the preview, I thought it was just going to be one gator the entire movie, and so I was really caught off when it's actually like multiple gators. Yeah. So we get the second one, and I was like, okay, it's only two gators. Then we get like a freaking family of them. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, oh, that makes more sense. Yeah, okay, so this is far more realistic. Yeah, than I thought this it is was. like okay, so like yeah, I mean, one gator you can get away, you could probably kill it. Two maybe, but when you start seeing the family of them start coming at you, it's yeah, that's a whole other. Well, thing. I guess you, sh I guess we should have been warned by it though, because like she's like going and like you see the sign. Yeah, you see the sign. And it's kind of looks like a swamp. Yeah. Um, so then, you know, we start a whole journey of, of the, of the crawl space and stuff. At that point, the hurricane is going nuts. It's raining like crazy. It, it's just going nuts. And the crawl space is filling. It's, the crawl space just starts flooding and it start it's starting to raise up to their, to their freaking necks and stuff like that. So at that point, they're trying to find a way out of the crawl space around yeah. the alligators. Their first, uh, point is to try to get the emergency hatch they have that's, um, above above them in the roof that's a uh, hatch they try to open up it was one another exit out uh but it was covered by stuff so they couldn't get out there um so they tried to find other ways out and Haley decides well screw it i'm gonna go through the drainage pipe and then the dad warns them well that's where they're actually coming in well no before that let, let's let's back it up um because we're missing two big parts of when the people are ransacking the store across the street okay um, and they try to get their attention. Yeah. But then they get eaten by Gator. Yeah. Um, and then we also have when the police are coming. The police are coming. So. And they try to flash them there. Or the, do, does that happen before or after the the push? I think that's after the push. Okay. So the first part is is the there's this there's this group of like misfits trying to, um, you know, 
rob a store and stuff just to get snacks and goodies for the thing and they end up wasting too much time and uh the alligators start hearing them and stuff so it kills the girl who's on the boat the other guy sees uh Haley's signal and tries to kind of go towards it to rescue her but you know he's too kind of optimistic still so he doesn't know what to do um then he turns around and sees his like i think it's either his mom or i don't remember who it was but she ends up getting killed and eaten by an alligator he yeah. runs back and then an alligator gra grabs him the other kid who was taking too long in the freaking store even though they told him to come multiple times he sees all the action go down between his brother and then an alligator ends up eating him yeah. so that's their first point of when they um they can't uh escape so then they get a radio um and they radio uh one of the cops to come through and try to help them right they got a radio from someone was it a radio oh i thought it was or did he make did she make a phone call i think they just start making a bunch of noise and the cop yeah and the cops Cause the cop came to check cause yeah like he knew that the yeah. one that he that yeah Haley had told him if if yeah. you know if you if can you go look for him while this is yeah happening so they they come and check and they make a bunch of noise and they're down there and they go and check and then Wayne he stands right there and he gets eaten by the alligator that's the part they shown in the trailer yeah definitely and then from there we see of course uh, the other cop uh, he's trying to start his engine but then the alligator snaps him up yeah and the engine's pretty much screwed so that boat's out of the question. Um, from there, of course, then we go back. To, let's go flashback forward. Uh, she finds a radio in the um, inside the, the before she goes out the tunnel where the, they're coming in. She finds the radio from one of the cops and she tries to get their attention. And she finds a gun. Yeah. She uses that gun to kill one of the uh, alligators. Another scene that they show in the trailer where she sticks her hand in and just shoots a, yeah. the hell out of them. By the way, they get bit up a lot in this movie. Yeah, every part of their body is basically bit. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Shoulder, she, I think arms, she gets bit in the arm. and leg. she Yeah, she gets bit in the leg. And uh, the dad gets bitten up pretty good. And the dad loses his arm, but we'll get to that in a bit. Yeah. So she goes out into the um, to the open, and she sees, you know, all the alligators swimming around. So she tries to go inside the house, and she, well, she does make it inside the house. Mm -hmm. um, the water is basically up to the dad's head at that point. Yeah, and she, 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 she couldn't get to a certain point place where he was so she just starts getting like a crowbar or something and just starts destroying the floorboards yeah. so to get him up immediately and she does you think the dad's dead at first but then she brings she cprs him and brings him back to life yeah um which at, at that point they um they, they come up with the plan they go well let's go outside let's if we move slowly not make any splashes the alligators won't hear us because they have a, a, a special uh, source of sense where they can hear like splashes and stuff so if yeah. we move calmly the rain should be a, a, a perfect uh benefactor to uh, this so they start doing that and that's when the rain just stops they end up in the eye of the storm of the storm and that's when it just starts going crazy crazy yeah. stupid so then that's at that point the dad was like okay you got to swim over there and get that boat because you were what an apex predator an apex predator mm -hmm. because that's that's their, that's the whole theme is that this family does not give up he always called his daughter an apex predator when he when she swam and stuff like that and uh that boat that the looters were using at the gas station she goes and swims over there it's still okay and then she brings it in over there and when you think they're about to escape that's when the hurricane really hits and they go flying back into the house Dad goes one way, daughter goes one way, the dog goes another. Yeah, because my, my Mr. American Pie, those levers, the levee was not dry that time. Yep. And it, it's just insane. Then we see, of course, the uh, the dad loses his arm at that point. Yeah. Um, the, the, the daughter's trying to find the dad, and the dad is on the stairway. The daughter's trying to get around to the stairway because there's actually crocodiles or alligators just swimming around. So she's yeah. got to be kind of slick with her movements and stuff. But they're basically trying to make their way up to the roof so they can hopefully flag someone down and get someone's attention. At that point, she starts using the radio um, to radio someone. And uh, the radio is just it's not going through. The frequency is not going through. At least that's what she thinks. And I yeah. secretly think that's why the helicopters came. Do you think that's why the helicopter comes at the end? I think, I think they've picked up the radio frequency somewhere, and I think that they are flying by looking for someone, hoping that that, that, that someone was still alive. Yeah. And I think that's why the helicopters came. Uh, and that could be the reason. I think the helicopter came just by coinketing, but I, 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 I think mean, that's, that's logical. Why. It's logical, yeah. So, of course, the, the dad loses his arm, and, and so uh, 
they're on their way up to the to the roof and the, they're they're about to go up to the attic the dad goes up the dog goes up and then um Haley gets uh, i think she gets like pushed into another room from the storm right and at that point that's when that one scene of the alligator that comes crashing through the window comes in and that alligator yeah, she had to go get something else i think or yeah something. and 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 that alligator then it goes down to follows her to the restroom and we see that one scene where of course she is in the bathtub and she climbs over the alligator goes into the bathtub she shuts it and then she leaves yeah at that point she goes upstairs and um they go onto the roof she has a flare and she makes her she makes her call when she sees the helicopter they flare her down and all they see is a point of view of the dad and it's kind of fading away and the daughter's looking down at the dad and then the movie just ends you forgot one of the coolest part is when she gets bit on the shoulder, and then <laughs> the crocodile is like spinning her. Or the alligator is spinning her. I mean, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really cool. Yeah, that was that was. I thought she was dead for sure right there. Oh uh, yeah, I thought I'm done. That was that was insane. But um, movie was just kills him with the flare. Kills him with the flare. Yeah, the movie was just all out a fun kind of insane type of movie. Uh, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, no, I I definitely agree. I think it was fun. I definitely was jumping. It was very suspenseful throughout yeah because you don't know where the gators are most of the movie obviously yeah. sometimes you'll see them but other times it's like oh they're <laughs> they just <laughs> they're, jumping. they're jumping to bite now yep um which is cool um i also i thought i think it was pretty cool because they kept it a very simple movie yeah they didn't try to like have too many characters they didn't ha try to film in super crazy locations like more than half the movie is them in the crawl space. Yeah. In the the basement, which is cool. Definitely. Um, and when they're not in there, like, it's a shot that's worth it. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I really enjoyed the movie. Um, Sam Raimi did it again. He delivered another good, suspenseful horror thriller movie. Um, and it had a it's good amount of blood in it. And, you know, the crocodiles were just... Uh, they were just evil uh, doing what they do within their predator instincts, just killing people in a situation like that um i i like the chemistry with the characters as well um the you know the mo the sister and the and the, uh, and the dad are just they're, they're kind of dealing with their own problems as this is going on yeah they haven't like talked in forever and this kind of brings them closer together as the movie goes on so i do like the chemistry between the two characters you yeah, know I, I agree with that i also enjoy just how like i said it's kind of realistic could happen yeah hurricane flooding Gator gets out. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I, don't, I mean, I don't know if gators would end up in your crawl space, but you know, maybe. Well, the uh, way they kind of set it up, though, is like kind of came to like the sewage, like a sewage. Yeah. Yeah, I get so. that. Um, and then, yeah, I just I, I like they didn't try to do a lot. Yeah, but they they made a lot happen with a little. Nailed it. Um, final verdict. Final verdict. Uh, what are we going? Five or ten? Let's go to ten. Ten. I'll probably give it like eight. 8.2. Couldn't do 8.5 out of 10. 8.5, yeah. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it and stuff like that. Um, I think that what killed the other 1.5 was just like you said, there was minor flaws to how they didn't know when there was a hurricane coming and yeah. just the, uh, you know, the minor stuff that would make it unrealistic. But other than that, I th it was just a, a good kind of frustrating movie where it has you on your toes the entire time. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And the ending's even good because it doesn't give you uh, a happy ending, it gives you a, a cut. Yeah, just like you, you can you, assume that they're safe. Yeah, but it's just a cut. Yeah, so it's not one of those like, oh, she died from a. Even though we made that joke, like it would have been hilarious if she got an eight by a freaking alligator as the helicopter was picking them up. Yeah, or like you get the you get the cut, and then you get like six months later. Yeah, this and is just the, a there's cut. like a the family's happy again. Yeah, this is just a cut. So you're just assuming everyone got rescued, everybody's okay. Yeah, so. All right, that's going to do it this week for the podcast, the second podcast, I think, of the week. If not, maybe just the podcast for this week. But uh, thank you guys for watching again. Midsummer Scream, August 3rd and 4th, we will be there. Um, so look out for us. We're doing three podcasts, one with Kim and Cat Stay Alive, one with Theme Park Pass, and one with Fracture Compass Productions. Then we'll be at Pulp Fiction Comics August 4th at 7 o'clock to watch Kim and Cat live. So that should be pretty fun. Uh, we're going to be covering the event. Uh making sammy go through some mazes that'd be pretty fun yeah so look out for that look out for that because you might want to you might want to come with us when sammy goes through these, some of these mazes just to see his reactions would be hilarious so thank you guys for watching this and we will see you guys in the next podcast bye adios